today, President Trump has called this a day of prayer. Today is a day of prayer for our nation. Why don't you be seated just for a moment. I was musing about why in the world Houston got hit the way it did. I mean, there's a, between a 40 and 60,000 member church in Houston. Joel Osteen is the pastor. His father used to pray hurricanes away from Houston, from the Gulf. Houston was never even considered too much in those days because it's not right on the coast. And I got a text this morning, a prophecy that was given August 29th, 2016, Houston will be flooded and the winds and the waves will come into Houston and it will be destroyed. And you ask why? Because the winds and the waves still obey him. They still know his name. But it was Houston it was Houston that Planned Parenthood was selling baby parts and it was exposed. Remember that? And the man that exposed it was charged and convicted in court for exposing it. It was Houston that the mayor said, every pastor's sermon must be on my desk every week to make sure that you're not coming against the LBGT community. We think of San Francisco as the gay capital of the world. Houston is right behind it. We think of the atrocities of New Orleans and the week that Katrina hit New Orleans was a gay, lesbian, pride, march scheduled and it got destroyed by God. The judgment of God. It's Houston that has elected the first lesbian mayor of that city. And Joel Osteen said, God put her there. And he declared that he wanted to take pictures with her. And he took pictures with her. It is the judgment of God couldn't put my finger on it till I got this prophecy by a woman, a little known woman. And her prophecy was released last August 29th, 2016. And it came to pass. Houston is a city built on a flood plain. 
her prophecy, prophecy said it would never be rebuilt again. And there's talk, there's talk in the news. Three times in the last five years, Houston has been flooded. This one's costing our country 150 to 200 billion dollars. You can't even afford flood insurance there anymore. Most of the people did not have flood insurance, but those that did have it are getting their properties replaced or paid for. But those that didn't have flood insurance are getting their properties paid for. What's the point in having it? And it's there in Houston that more people are illegal immigrants and now the issue happens the week before President Trump has to continue the illegal policies of Obama which states that anyone that's here since a child should be able to stay keep their green cards forever. And the issue is going to pivot. That's all you're going to hear this next week. We are no longer a nation of laws. And it's so easy to be here on the East Coast and say, well, you know, that's the judgment of God on Houston. But the judgment of God on Houston, Texas has already impacted every person sitting in this room today. The fuel prices went from $2.10 to two forty-five dollars and two fifty-five dollars a gallon right here in this area. It will go to $3 at least a gallon in the next few weeks. Right behind Harvey is Irma, with a name like Irma. You can imagine, I'm sorry for anyone here named Irma, but it used to be Nancy and Betsy and happy names, you know. Irma. just telling you we're liable to be impacted and cities that have never flooded before will flood Sandy was before Katrina was before that now we've got Harvey atrocities done in Houston, atrocities that have come out of Houston. There's another big thing that happened, and I can't remember it right now, but our president has called a day of prayer. And we've got to pray for all those people it seems like every person where there's a flood, where the flood waters hit, all, everything in their house has been taken out to the road. It's like, it's like the houses have vomited all of its possessions. And they're sitting on the road. And the governor has asked for asked for $75 million just to remove the tables and the chairs and the refrigerators, the washing machines, the dryers, and the beds, and the mattresses. And now it 
it's already gone up 25 more million dollars. A hundred million dollars will be spent in the next two weeks if they can get enough trucks. There's not enough trucks in Houston to get rid of all of that. There's not enough landfills to get rid of it. The corruption in our society, the land is vomiting. So today we're going to pray. This is a prophetic moment it's taking place all across America and churches everywhere. A call to prayer. God have mercy. It's all we can pray. God have mercy. We have no self-righteous prayers to offer up to God today. We have no prayers of comparison. God have mercy. If it be possible, let this next hurricane pass from us. Nevertheless, not our will, but thy will be done. man gets off of a plane. He's from India, a real prophet of God. He walks into the airport in Houston and he has a vision. And his vision shows him Houston will be flooded. Two major announcements came within the past 12 months that Houston be destroyed by water. The winds and the waves know his name, but God can steal the waters or he can billow them. And God is judging our nation. And judgment must begin first at the house of God. If you judge yourself, you will not be judged, the Bible says. So let's judge ourselves today. How many will meet me at the front of this church right now and let's pray. If you cannot kneel, sit in a chair on the front row. But I want to kneel today. Almighty God. Forgive us for our lethargy. Forgive us our trespasses. Forgive us, Lord, for voting LBGT. Forgive our nation for allowing Obama to change the culture of our nation the way he has. For placing edicts on our military, the trannies are allowed to serve in our military, oh God, for making it the law of the land that we have to accept homosexuals and lesbians in our military. Forgive us, oh God, somehow. Have mercy. Somebody cry out for mercy with me. Have mercy, oh God. Have mercy on our nation today, oh Lord, if it, if it be possible. Send prophets, O oh God, to prophesy by the true spirit of Almighty God. Not deceiving prophets, 
but prophets that will declare sin is a reproach to any people but righteousness exalteth the nation. Oh God, somebody say, have mercy, Lord. Have mercy, oh God. This is a day of prayer called by our president. Honor his call to prayer today. If it be possible, don't let Irma hit Virginia and South Carolina, North Carolina, or Florida. Send it away. The winds and the waves still know your name, almighty God. May it make a sharp right hand turn and get out of here. Have mercy, oh God. Have mercy, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. God, have mercy. He called We kneel before you today, O oh Lord. We ask that you would have mercy on us as a people, as a nation. Have mercy on Hopewell for all the corruption that they're doing, oh God, in this town. Have mercy, oh God. Expose. Expose the LBGT agenda, oh God, in Jesus' name. Expose the liberal Democrats that are pushing our country to the precipice that there will be no return. Have mercy on us, O oh God. And arise, Holy Ghost. Arise, Holy Ghost. Let your enemies be scattered. Expose the alt-left, O oh God. Expose those people that are being paid to create violence. Expose George Soros today, oh God. May people go to jail for what they're doing, oh Lord. May the fear of God come upon our nation, oh Lord. May once again the fear of the Lord come against all those that work iniquity in our land, oh God, in Jesus' name. Have mercy, O oh God. Somebody cry out, Have mercy, O oh God. He korobokorie asabahatayai. As we join with millions and millions of other Christians, O oh God, on this day of prayer, as we honor the President's announcement that this is a day of prayer, may we walk prayerfully. May we walk mournfully before you this day, O oh God. Forgive us for our arrogance. Forgive us for our pride, O oh Lord. Forgive us, O oh God. Have mercy, O oh Lord. That your mercy would endure forever. Magnify. Somebody magnify the Lord with me. Tell God he's a just God today. Everything that's happening, we deserve it, but we're asking for your mercy, oh God. You do not wish that we sacrifice bulls and goats, but a contrite heart, oh God. Create within this country a clean heart, oh God. Remove the culture of excuses, O oh Lord. Create within the depths of this country a clean heart, O oh God. Renew a right spirit within this nation. Cast us not away from your presence. Take not your Holy Spirit from us, O oh God. Restore unto this country 
revival once again. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. I'm going to tell you a story while we're still at the front. John Wesley put over 250,000 miles on horses to preach the gospel to this nation. That's the report I just heard. If it was all the evangelical preachers combined, that's still a masterful feat on horses. If, if all the George Whitfields and John Wesley, if they put 250,000 miles on horses and revival came, we need revival again in this nation. God give us airplanes and give us cars to be able to go. Give us invitations. Give us openings, oh God. Have mercy, Lord. Amen. One more time, say, have mercy, Lord. Have mercy, Lord. We call for mercy today. All day long, pray, pray with me. Believe God with me because our nation deserves judgment. But God is a merciful God. Can you say amen? amen. So, if you're still here, let's sing, It Is Well With My Soul. When peace like a river attendeth our way, or when sorrows like seas billows roll, pray that God will help the Christians, the true Christians in Houston. Pray God will give them finances in Jesus' name. When peace like a river attendeth my way, or when sorrows like seas billows roar, whatever my lot thou
Somebody shout amen. Somebody shout amen. Somebody shout amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah.